the gift that keeps on giving. Gratitude. But first, what's up, beautiful people? This your favorite cousin, Rich. Back again. It's morning time, so I hope y'all having a wonderful morning. Because I am. I woke up, that's all I needed. Now, the gift that keeps on giving, gratitude. When you have gratitude, God knows you have gratitude. When you're grateful for the things that you have, guess what will happen? He'll bless you with more. When you're ungrateful, that's when you stop receiving gifts. That's when you stop receiving guidance. That's when you stop just receiving blessings, period. Think about it like this. You have a kid. You have two kids. The first kid, well, you have two kids, right? They both want a car. So you get them just any kind of old used car. A bucket. Kid A appreciates the bucket, you know, take, washes it, even though washing may not do anything, but washes it, makes sure the tires it got air in it, gas in it, all type of good things, right? And it treats it just like it's a, a Bentley. And you got kid B. They don't appreciate it. They don't wash it. They don't put no gas in it. You know, they just treat it like it's a bucket. They, you know, they, they, you can tell they don't care about the car. Kid A, their birthday rolls around. They say, hey, I want a new car. They say, okay, well, think about it. Because we saw that you were grateful for what you had, which wasn't much, but you were grateful for it. So we can bless you with another one because we know you'll take care of it. We know that you're appreciative of it. Kid B, the one who got the bucket, his birthday rolls around and say, hey, I want a new car. They say, no. They say, wow, I don't like the car. Da, 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 da. They say, well, you weren't grateful for it. You didn't maintenance it. You didn't, put, you know, you didn't deal with the maintenance. You didn't put no gas in it. You didn't wash it. You just let it rot. Even though it wasn't much, you didn't, you know, you weren't appreciative of it. You didn't take care of it. So therefore, we can't bless you with another one. Can't give you another one. Until you learn how to what? Be grateful for what you have. That's the ultimate cheat code to life. Is being grateful. Haven't you noticed when you're in a relationship with somebody and you're grateful for having them, you seem to get more out of them? And I'm not saying use this as manipulation or anything like that because people will be able to tell if you, you know, you're just playing grateful in order to get more out of somebody. But when you're truly grateful towards them, don't you seem to get more out of them? Or flip it. When people are grateful and show you gratitude for you being in their, being in their life, don't you seem to get, don't you seem to want to give more? Because you know, you're pouring into a cup that don't got holes in it. That's why I say gratitude is the gift that keeps on giving. The more grateful you are, the more that you receive. And the opposite, the less grateful you are, the less that you'll receive. The universe is always taking into account where your heart is, what your heart part, what your heart posture, excuse me, what your heart posture is. It's trying to see if you're genuinely appreciative of things, or if you're just putting on a facade in order to trick it. But you can't tr trick the universe. You can trick people, but you can't trick the universe. That's why when you're in a job that you might not necessarily like, but you need it, and you treat it as such, you know, you're grateful for that job, God will bless you in better situations. He'll start blessing you, blessing you with ideas in order to what? Make more income, or it might put you in a better position. See, gratitude lies in the frequency of abundance. Gratitude lies in the same frequency. Thumbnail. Let me make sure I got it. All right. <laughs> but gratitude lies in the same frequency as abundance. It lies in the same frequency as being appreciative. It lies in the same frequency. It's a high frequency ranking thing, being grateful. And not being appreciative, not being grateful. Those are on the opposite ends of the spectrum. So as long as you keep yourself on that upper end of the frequency spectrum of being grateful, you'll always attract things that range in that heightened frequency. And as long as you 
relate to that lower frequency of not being appreciative, not being grateful, not being thankful, guess what will happen? You will attract such. You will attract people, places, things, obstacles that resonate on that same frequency as which you reside. This is why you should always reside in being grateful. Because your situation can always change, no matter what you see. That's why you should always be grateful. As long as you're always grateful, the universe can turn your situation around just like that. You never know where, when a blessing is going to come, where it's going to come from. You never know how the universe may be working for you at that exact moment. That's why you always got to keep your heart open. That's why you always got to be in gratitude. You could be having a bad day, but as long as you're grateful, you might come across somebody who could change your life right there. Just because of how you handled your day through certain obstacles. Every day is not going to be an up day. Every, every day is not going to be a happy day. Oh, happy day. It's not. But can you still be grateful through the pain? Can you still be grateful through the hurt? Can you still be grateful through a bad day? Can you still be grateful through the rain? We may not like, we might not like it when it rains because we can't go outside, right? But we're thankful and grateful for the rain when the roses bloom. That's why you should always be grateful. That's why you should always have your mind in that positive state. Like I said, you may be sad when it rains because you can't go outside. But tomorrow you'll be happy when the roses are blooming. That way, that's why when it's raining outside, you should just be grateful, be happy. Because now you get to do something inside. Tomorrow you get to see the beautiful flowers bloom. Anyway, I'm about to get off. I'm going to show my morning walk. Hope this video can help somebody. Remember, gratitude is the attitude. Be grateful. You want to receive more blessings in life? You want to receive abundance of life? The gift that keeps on giving? Be grateful for what you have. And the universe will bestow more upon you. Anyway, this is your favorite cousin. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Love and blessings.